We say CPU. You hear Intel and AMD. Yes, it is what it is. The competition between Intel and AMD in the CPU market is now bigger than ever. Being a consumer, it's good news for us, though, because their constant approach to better quality is bringing us top-notch processors, and they most often make aggressive pricing to grab the CPU market, which means more affordability for great processors. But among the best CPUs, which one should you actually buy? AMD has a history of maintaining the same socket for multiple generations of CPUs. For example, a user with an AM4 motherboard can upgrade from a first-gen Ryzen to a third-gen Ryzen with a simple BIOS update, so users can upgrade within the same socket without needing to change motherboards. This makes it easier to keep a system current without extensive upgrades, also minimizing cost. AMD's Ryzen APUs come with integrated graphics, which makes them suitable for budget builds where discrete GPUs may not be feasible. This can be a practical option for users who might upgrade their graphics later. Meanwhile, Intel frequently introduces new technologies and architectural improvements. Features such as PCIe 4 and support for faster memory types can make Intel builds more appealing for users wanting greater performance. While Intel has historically switched sockets more often, this can also be a double-edged sword. It allows for significant performance improvements, but can necessitate motherboard upgrades for newer processors. Users should plan for potential motherboard replacements when upgrading. More money, more headaches. So in terms of long-term upgradability and the ability to extend the lifespan of a system with minimal costs, AMD surpasses Intel by a good margin. Power consumption is largely influenced by design factors such as lithography and architecture. Generally, more power means more heat, so high-performance processors will need stronger cooling solutions to keep temperatures under control. Intel has managed to lower its power consumption from an embarrassing level to a more reasonable one, though it still uses more energy than Ryzen. Nonetheless, Raptor Lake's notable speed compared to other processors provides some justification for its higher power draw. Intel has long been labeled a major power consumer, primarily due to difficulties with its 14 nanometer process. However, recent improvements in the last two generations have changed that narrative. With the introduction of the Intel 7 process and its x86 hybrid architecture, Intel has made significant strides in power consumption and overall efficiency. Still, AMD's 5 nanometer chips either use less power or offer significantly improved power-to-performance ratios. This means you can accomplish more tasks for each watt of energy used, which leads to a favorable outcome, and AMD's cooling needs are much less demanding. Undoubtedly, AMD is the clear winner in this category. In terms of CPU overclocking, there's a clear distinction between Intel and AMD CPUs. Intel models deliver more headroom for overclocking, which allows for better performance gains over their base speeds than what is possible with AMD Ryzen processors. All you have to do is pay a premium price for Intel's K-series chips and purchase a pricey Z-series motherboard. Intel's chips are relatively easy to push to their max, which peaks at 6 to 6.0 GHz with the 13th Gen Raptor Lake processors. AMD processors offer limited options for manual tuning, Typically, the highest all-core overclocks are several hundred megahertz lower than the chip's peak single-core boost. Consequently, overclocking all cores can lead to a slight decrease in performance for applications that rely on fewer threads. Let's have a look at how much they deliver with their performance. Intel processors are typically superior in single-threaded applications like photo editing, basic video editing, and routine productivity tasks. This advantage is attributed to their high clock speeds and excellent single-core performance. Conversely, AMD CPUs are more effective in tasks that require extensive multi-threading, such as video rendering, 3D modeling, and various content creation activities that benefit from a greater number of cores. If you're assembling a gaming PC, selecting between AMD and Intel for your CPU is fairly straightforward. AMD's new X3D chips are undoubtedly the fastest on the market. AMD has recently introduced its Ryzen 7000 X3D series processors, which feature 3DV cache technology. 
these CPUs offer extremely fast gaming performance, particularly in games that benefit from the increased cache size. The AMD Ryzen 75800X3D and Ryzen 95900X3D are currently the fastest gaming processors available, surpassing even Intel's high-end offerings in most gaming scenarios, making them the top choice for gaming in the high-end segment. Thus, if you spot an attractive offer for an AMD CPU, it's wise to take advantage of it. That said, it's still hard to beat the Core i9-14900K in any category. For nearly everyone, pricing is the most important factor to consider, and AMD has long been recognized for its value offerings. However, this has recently shifted. Intel is fully dedicated to regaining its share of the market, which has sparked a fierce price battle with AMD, especially with the launch of Raptor Lake. This poses a significant challenge for AMD, as Intel's Raptor Lake chips not only deliver top-notch performance, but are also priced aggressively. So now, both are providing aggressive pricing, which is a good thing for consumers. So which one should you buy? Choosing between Intel and AMD is not as simple as it used to be, but we've provided a broad overview. You want CPU thoroughly for gaming performance. AMD should get priority. And if you want the best blend of productivity and gaming, Intel is waiting for you. So now that you are more aware of both brands, think about your preferences, make a suitable budget, see which one meets your needs, and go for it. Thanks for watching.